Hello there Libras, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, the first five cards deal with your love reading and the second five cards deal with your other areas of your life, career, work, family, etc. Um, first of all, the, the theme for this week is how do I manifest the relationship? What do I say? What do I do? How do I nudge it along? How do I interact with the other person? How do I get things going, get the momentum going? So rather than you sitting still and waiting for things to come to you, this is the week where I feel like that fire is lit under your butt, where you're like moving things along, you're pushing for things, and you're getting things started from your end. Um, the reason why I say manifest is we have the magician in the reverse. The magician in the reverse, it's like everything is there, everything is laid out in front of you, but for some reason, you're not really seeing a solution, okay? And they're saying as well, the magician here, he's pointing to this two of swords. You're not really seeing a solution because you're not really listening to your intuition. You're also not opening up and being expressive as to how you feel. And so everything is at a standstill between you and a love relationship partner is because you're at a stalemate or at an impasse with one another where the emotions are so, so strong, but no one is really budging. This person is not opening up. This person is, their heart is guarded. They're choosing not to see. They're choosing to ignore this connection. And so it creates the same dynamics where the other person is like, okay, well, you're ignoring me. Well, I'm going to ignore you too because now I think you don't like me. And so we're at a point where you have people that are mirroring one another. You might be dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, because the mirroring energy is they reflect back at you whatever you give back to them. And so it could be, you know, water sign or even like another air sign because air signs are notorious for reflecting off other air signs. Um, what I feel that you might not, you might emotionally be very aware of this, but rationally, like uh, mentally, you might not be aware of this. And what I mean by that is there is a really strong emotional connection you have with another person. And when I say emotional connection, the way that it manifests for air signs, it starts with a lot of sexual chemistry. If it was a regular emotional connection, air signs will never recognize it because this is not the realm that they're comfortable dealing in because you know they can feel things really really intensely but they're like oh that's not rational why should i feel this way when i you know barely know the other person so the way in which the emotional connection plays out for a lot of air signs is that it triggers it, it, it it's almost like it transforms into sexual chemistry and because you feel this it's really hard for you to ignore so you choose to give that person a second glance, right? You choose to pay a little bit more attention to that other person because you're like, where is this coming from? Why am I worked up? Why am I riled up whenever they're around? Why do I look at them more? Why do I feel so anxious when they're around? It's physical chemistry and the, the chemistry is what's really denoting to you. It's possibly a soulmate connection. And so many of you are dealing with somebody that you're very attracted to. They're mirroring you, so they're definitely attracted to you. And there is this sense of peace and harmony between the way in which the two of you think, the two of you share ideas, the two of you interact with each other, the two of you talk. But the topic that is kind of swept under the rug is this chemistry. Where is it coming from? Is it worth exploring? And how do we move forward? How do we manifest? How do we, you know, stop um, hanging out in the friend zone and, and, and move the relationship and ask for more? Who is going to be the first one to 
talk about this? Who, why are we both in denial about this? And who's going to make the first move? So this is your energy here with the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is like, let's look at this. Let's talk about it. But I don't feel like any anything is being done about it. And I feel like you're, you know, she she has one hand kind of uh, outstretched. She wants something, but her sword is up. So she's still very, very guarded. And then the person you're dealing with, they could be very confused. They feel the connection, but they don't really know what to do. So there is a lack of conversation. And, you know, by conversation, I mean, not just, you know, how was your weekend? How was your day? How are you feeling? But more like meaningful communication. What are your dreams? What are your long-term goals? What are your aspirations? Or even, let's cut to the chase. How do you feel about me? Here's my proposal because, you know, I like you and we would be great together. How do you feel about me? Opening up and having these meaningful, emotional conversations because I feel like you've got something that's really worth exploring. And I also feel many of you have been in a really bad relationship. You might have been with somebody that was very deceitful, um, manipulative, controlling. And you're, open, you're opening yourself up to new love. And it is a very scary process. It's very scary. But keep in mind, this is a new person. And the more you hold back, the harder it's going to be. I feel for some of you, uh, newly divorced, entering the dating scene, just wanting to have physical connections rather than emotional connections. But then you find yourself with somebody that is like too good to be true and the, the connection is very real and you're shutting down that part of yourself because you've been hurt okay and if that sounds familiar it's really good for you it's safe for you to open up it's safe for you in the safety of this two of cups feelings are being reciprocated and somebody's really passionate about you um i have a very strong fire energy as well so sagittarius aries leo and this is somebody that you could have a very strong, emotional, passionate love affair with. And, you know, but you have to overcome things from your own past. You have to be the one to kind of, I feel like the ball's in your court. So if you're dithering, wondering, you know, do they like me? I feel like they did something to initiate it. And then the ball's in your court, so you have to be the one to kind of reach out. And you're reaching out half-heartedly because you're not really sure, or you're scared of the connection. If it's a fire sign, the ball's definitely in your court. If you open up, they're going to come running towards you. If you're dealing with another air sign, I feel like you might need to open up. If it's an, another air sign, they might need to be a little bit more playful. You can joke with them and allow something to grow. But either way, make <laughs> make an action. Make an action, okay? Um, other areas of your life. So here's what I'm seeing. Work, 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 work. So um, you guys are kind of like, you know, doing what you're supposed to do, following rules and protocols, doing things by the book, and waiting for your opportunity to advance, right? And I feel like emotionally, Financially, things are really good, and because finances are really good, emotionally, you feel okay about staying where you're at. Emotionally, you feel okay. You have a lot of co-workers that you like. The work environment itself is very harmonious. Things are falling into place. You're learning the ropes. You can, like, there's safety in the familiar, right? Like, you can do your work uh, blindfolded. I mean, you know, it'll be a little bit harder, but you know it well enough where you can definitely do it. And I feel like you're getting compensated very well for it. A lot of people turn to you for emotional support and it, it makes you feel good to be able to help others. And it, it makes you feel good to kind of like 
when the environment is not antagonistic, when everyone plays nice, when you have you you have good relationships and good rapport with your coworkers. Long term, however, you're also aware that there is safety, but also stagnancy in the familiar. So you might be as well thinking like, "What's my next step?" I don't see you making any moves yet. But this is almost like it's a, a completion of a cycle. If I were to stay in it, I might get stuck. So I feel like you're contemplating what's next. Are there geographical changes that I need to make in order to advance my career? Because I feel some of you are already at the apex of that career track, and if you were to stay, there might be salary increases, but not in terms of additional responsibilities. So if you're at a point where you have really outgrown. Or have out、um, have already learned everything that there is to learn in a work environment. It's time for you to you know look at an, a promotion, look at more responsibilities, or look at a career change, or even、um, getting yourself into a place that might offer you a little bit more. So I feel like yes, you're comfortable. You're really happy here. Great rapport with、um, coworkers. And things like that. You're working very hard as well, but I feel like you're not really breaking a sweat because you know how to do your job efficiently.、Um, I also feel an element here about people coming to you for emotional support, but in terms of like, do the higher ups recognize you? I did the Virgo reading. You have planetary placements in Virgo, or you're dealing with a Virgo boss or something like that.、Uh, you might want to look at that. But I feel like you're not getting the recognition. You're working hard and you're comfortable and you're not getting the recognition, so career advancement might be something of a challenge for you. Okay,、um, once again, this is a, a very momentary, like、um, it's like little thoughts that kind of pop into your head, but I don't see you taking the action to change it because it's not dire or the timing is not yet right because you're comfortable right now. So just enjoy the moment. And I feel like new opportunities will be coming through. And I feel like, you know, when the time is right, when you are emotionally ready to take that next change. Okay, so、um, kick up your feet and just enjoy it, and just coast and try to figure out this love situation because I feel like something needs to be done. Somebody needs to take initiative here.、Um, you're at a standstill, and it's something that can be very beautiful. Okay. Take care of yourself, Libras. I'll talk to you next week. Bye bye.